Hi everyone, I'm back again. Um, if you're coming back again, thank you very much. If you're new here, I do makeup try-ons, first impressions, um, play with old stash. It's a lot of like makeup stuff on here, so makeup hauls and things like that. Occasionally, maybe clothes, new clothes try-ons, other um, like jewellery and stuff. I haven't put my earrings in yet today. Um, so yeah, if you like that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell so even if you're already subscribed hit that bell and then you know when I do videos um, yeah share my videos all that stuff really helps me get noticed so I really appreciate it I also read all your comments as well so thank you very much for that excuse what's ever going on on my chin at the moment having a bit of a breakout and it's really tender not that you've come on to hear about my um, skin and stuff so I've got three products i want to try from revolution so this is the new one that's come out they've done like a y2k thing so this is the big palette there's two smaller ones but i thought i'll just get the big one and i think this was about 8.99 no more than 12 pound anyway because i've seen it on different places um so this is the dreamer one Let's see if i can get into it and we've got these lovely fun colors then I've also got the Silk Satin Luminous Serum Foundation in F2. So hopefully this will be the right colour. And then I've also got their 5D Whip Lift Waterproof um, Mascara in black. So let's get this foundation on. I've already done my skincare and primer. So let's see what we make of this. Let's just grab it sponge i've really got into brushes now putting my um skincare on sorry i'm just gonna rejig my mirror but yeah whatever's going on here is really sore and itchy it's um perimenopause um spots so that's um not not very fun to be honest they're itchy and sore oh let me just put my fringe out the way i didn't think about that beforehand Right, so now I look really groovy, you know. <laughs> um, first impression of just putting that on, it feels very light. Uh, the primer that I've used with it is, just in case anybody wants to know, I'm really liking this one. It's e.l.f. Glow Up Primer Serum, and it just gives a bit of a glow. I'm really liking that one. And then the brush I've got is an e.l.f. one. It's a cream and powder uh powder face so yeah i'm really liking this for putting makeup on with oh well that is blending out really nice it's because it's a serum i don't think it's going to give a lot of coverage is, is there a smell to it no no smell it must be perfume or something i can smell but yeah, that's blending out really nice. And I think I picked the colour quite well. And like I said, I went for F2 because I'm really pale. But it's not going to give um, it's not going to give a heavy coverage. So if you just want like a light, natural look, I think it's great for that. Obviously, this is my first impression. So I'll try and remember. I don't know if it'll be today. It just depends on how my day goes. But I'll definitely let you know when I next do a video of how it lasted for the day. But yeah, as you can see, it's just given a very natural look. It almost looks like I haven't got foundation on, which is, yeah. So if you like that sort of thing, I say if you want more coverage just from this first impression, it's probably not for you. But you can tell what it definitely is silky. The silk bit is right because that is just blended really well. I mean, it's covered up a little bit of my blemish. But yeah, so first impression for that, I really like. Just for a natural look, you could just put a little bit of lippy on and yeah, liking that. That is really nice. Right, let's get some concealer on. This is one I've had for ages and it's my favourite one. I've tried a few over the time, but this is my favourite one. This is an e.l.f. one. 
but I like this one for when I want more coverage. So let's just do that. Cover up, see if we can cover up that what's ever going on on my chin, my little extra friend at the moment. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, today's Friday and I do hope to get this up Friday. Yeah, 1st of March. At least the sun's out now, but it's pretty cold out. So at least we've got the sun out, which makes a nice change. But yeah, I'm definitely becoming a brush girl for things. Mm, come on, blend out. Oh God, that's looking, that's looking a bit odd. And I hardly put any on. Let me just sort this out. Okay, so I've sorted that out. So the actual concealer is really different to that. But yeah, really impressed. And I think this was about £12 something. Sorry, I just heard a sound. Let me just go and check. Sorry about that. I just heard a weird sound. But yeah, liking this. Like I said, I think it's about £12. So not overly expensive. And how many mil is it? 23 mil, so you know, average size, but yeah, liking that. Right, let's get to the oh, let's put some eye primer on first of all. So let's use this one. And like I said before, I really like eye primers that have got the is it dofu. I'm not prob probably saying that wrong, but you know, the little spongy bit. I like that. So yeah, at least the sun's out, makes a nice change. And I can't believe, not this weekend, but the full on weekend's Mother's Day. Everything seems to be coming round really quick. So let's just grab some brushes. And, oh, oh I definitely want to swatch this one. This one's called So Hot. Oops, this one here, let's swatch that one. Let's do a little bit of swatching before we Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, that is pretty. I'll definitely be using that one. So, yeah, let's do a little bit of swatching as well. So, we've got So Hot that we've just swatched. I'm going to swatch this colour, oops, here, which is Babe. So, the names are very much Y2K. Oh, my God. The shimmers are just absolutely Stunning, and then what else shall we swatch? Um, so there's only a couple of mattes in here, a lot of this is shimmers. So if shimmers aren't your thing, let's swatch Peeps, which is this bright pink one. And they feel lovely, they're really nice and creamy. They do feel amazing. Oh, look at those! <gasps> Very much my sort of colours, just anyway, because I love peacock, what I call peacock colours. Oh, yeah, they're pretty. Right, so I'm definitely going to use So Hot, because I don't use a lot of purpley stuff. So I think I'm definitely going to use So Hot, but I want something for a base. So I think I might use Power, which is this silvery one. So let's use that as a base so let's find a brush I really need to get round and clean my brushes I've been a bad girl again so let's just dust that off a bit because that's got a brownie colour on <laughs> yeah I need to get round and give my brushes a good clean so let's use this power one what's nice is it's got a mirror as well so let's see what we think of power as a bit of a base so I'm just going to go all over with this one. Oh, it is so pretty. And there's no fallout. You know, with some um, shimmers, you get a lot of fallout. But no, this is, this is lovely. I will just say I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just somebody who loves makeup and playing with makeup. Sorry if I put any weird faces. Oh, that is going down really nice. Let's go right up into the crease. Yeah, I'm liking that. That is super pretty. And then, what brush shall I grab this? I'm going to use this one. 
yeah I think over the weekend I'm definitely going to have to give my brushes a good wash I mean some of them are really bad so I think it's just there's a little bit of fallout in the um, pan but nothing drastic and then no I'm not going to use that brush I want something a little bit more where's my other one that I really like aha that one Sorry, I'm having to clean them in between. Oh, there, yeah, that is so pretty. Let me just see if I can blend that out a bit better with my finger. Oh, now I've gone all the way down here. <laughs> oh, well. At least I'm giving you all a giggle as usual. Um, right, so that's quite silvery, but I want to use that so hot one that we did, that pinky one, because that is just stunning. So I think I'm going to go right in the crease with this one as best I can. Don't forget, I have got a broken, a funky wrist. So let's go. And I know I'm probably not using the right brush. Let's go right in the corner with that. Because I want to use a few of these colours. I don't want to just do a one colour look today. Okay, so we've gone right in the corner with that. So I'm just looking in my main mirror as well because it's a little bit easier for me to see. So we've gone right in the car corner with that. Let's just blend that a bit more. I don't want to lose that silver because it's so pretty. And then, yeah, I told I. Just like I'm a person that likes makeup, no makeup artist here. And then I think I'm going to go in with this Y2K one. So let's give that a swatch. I can't remember if we swatched that one or not now. I've sort of forgotten a bit. Oh, but look at that. Yeah, these shimmers are stunning. And I'm literally, I've only gone over this twice now because I made a bit of a boo-boo. But look at that. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Loving. Can you tell I like I wasn't sure of this palette at first when I saw other people using it, but now I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I got it. I might have to get the smaller ones because I don't know if they've got different colours. So I'll have to look into that. There's a little bit more fallout with this one, but nothing drastic. So I'm gonna come over this side here, I think. And do a little bit there because I don't want to like I said I don't want to lose this silver look because it is just so pretty so let's, let's do a little bit there oh yes yeah sorry I'm like a big kick on oh yeah <laughs> that is really nice and they're blending really nice together so let's just put a bit more on this side Yeah, really impressed with this palette. So you'll see me definitely using it some more. Sorry, I'm changing to this one. Right. And then I'm just going to get a... I'm going to use this fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend all that together. Just go completely over. Just give them a bit of a blend. Oh, I am liking that. Let me just close my eyes so you can properly see. Oh, that is, yeah, I really like that. And then I think I'm going to grab this one again. I don't normally do much under the eye, but as I'm not going out anywhere today, what colour should we do under the eye? I'm going to keep it all purpley and silvery, I think. What one's this like? This is Bedazzle. Oh, that's another. Sorry, all you can hear me going is, ooh. So I've got this bedazzled one, which is this one here, which is, yeah. So I think I'm just going to go underneath here. Like I said, I don't do this a lot. So if it goes really wrong, it's not the product, it's me. So let's just use a little bit of this. And put a little bit of that there. Come on, on the brush. This is, this is a lot more pale on the... Um, I this be dazzled it's not so let's join that up there let's 
yeah, this palette is definitely worth it. Oh, it tickles so much. This is why I don't do much under my eye, because I end up getting really watery eyes. Oh, yeah, that is great. Right, and then let's do this mascara. I'm just going to have a little tidy up, and then we'll do the mascara. Right, and the mascara, just to go over this again, it was the 5D Whip Lift. don't think this was very expensive either, so let's try this out. So it's got a quite a chunky... Let me put that down, that'd be easier for you to see. Quite a chunky wand. So let's just see. I don't put a lot of mascara on. I just put like one layer on. And I have to say, for one layer, it's doing really well. Sorry I'm off to the side, but yeah. I might have to put two layers on, but it's certainly hitting all the lashes. It's really nice. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got this bubble in my throat again. Yeah, but this is... Yeah, it's going on really well and it's, oops, comes now I've gone into my eyebrow. <laughs> but it's going on really well. Um, I think I will just put another coat on and it's a nice black. It's, you know, some blacks are really too much, if you know what I mean. But no, this is, yeah, like in that. I don't know if it'll irritate my eyes. So, yeah, um, when I next do a video, I'll let you know how that lasted the foundation and if the mascara irritated my eyes or not. And then I just like to get a little spoolie and brush them out just to make sure I've really got the mascara in them and separate them a bit. But yeah. So far, very impressed with all these items. And then I'll do my other little tricks some of you have seen. Just make sure, you know, when you put your um, setting spray on, sometimes you get it, the mascara go elsewhere. But that's not even like coming out on there. No, highly impressed. Loving both of those. Right, I'm going to do my blusher and lipstick and I'll come back. Okay, so I've got my blusher, lipstick and all that on. All I've got to do is my setting spray, but I'll do that in a minute. So, yeah, um, my impressions of these items, I really, yeah, really like them. The eyeshadow palette is fantastic. It blends really well. Um, I think you could get a load of looks out of it. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, but I just am somebody who really loves makeup, big makeup junkie, um, and I'm trying to, do, um, sorry, I'll get my words out in a minute. I'm trying to get better at doing some different looks so I'm not just like putting one colour on, which is often what I do when I'm just at home and or I'm just going out quickly sort of thing. So I am trying to get better at doing different makeup. I probably, just for me personally, I wouldn't do under the eyes again. I think I need to practice a little bit more with that, which I can do with you all or off camera. <laughs> so it uh, depends if you want to giggle or not. Um, yeah, I love the palette, but I'm not 100% sure on my eye look, maybe because it's something a bit different for me. But yeah, absolutely love that. That is really good. Absolutely love it. think it's worth it. Colours blend really well. You've got a nice mixture, but it is a lot of shimmers. So if you're not into shimmers, it's probably not the best for you. This, like I said, I will let you know in another video of how this lasts for the day. I will be definitely using it um, again. So I think this is really well. It blended nicely. It do, It's not a thick coverage. So if you want something more natural, that's probably better for you if you just want a more natural look. I also would think it would be good um, for a youngster, you know, starting out in makeup. So I think it would be good for that as well. Really like the mascara. That went on really well as well sorry I keep saying that um but yeah I really am impressed I think I'd give so far first impressions all these items a good the palette 10 out of 10 the foundation I'll give it a 9.5 and so far for the more mascara 9.5 so I think that's really good for first impressions and I will see you all soon with something else like I said don't forget to make sure you're subscribed hit the notification bell so you know when I do videos and if you're not already subscribed why not <laughs> um, yeah so do all that for me share my videos and everything it really helps me get more noticed 
because if I get to 15, sorry, my brain's gone, 1,500 subscribers, there'll be a nice big giveaway for you. So if you want to be part of that, make sure you're subscribed. See you all soon. Bye, everyone.